there's so many buttons to push to go live. I'm, I, it's, I mean, I guess it's good because they want to make sure that you know <laughs> you're going live. It's something else. So how are you guys doing today? It's Tuesday. Thanksgiving's in two days. Anyone else in a little bit of shock about that? I am. I'm, I can't believe it. I think it's nuts. Hey, Don, how are you? Um, I So I have a... Oi, I know Marion. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Marion. Yes, two days to Thanksgiving. Be, are you ready? Can you, are you ready? Hi, Adrian. Hi, Jeffrey. Hey, Carl, UK. Oh, Pacific Northwest. Awesome. Yeah, we're good. Everyone's good. West of Scotland, Kenny. Wow, so cool. Hey, Jess. <laughs> Hi, Lance. Hi, James. So I just came in to, to make sure you guys are okay. Ready for Thanksgiving? Um, no, I didn't really. I'm sure you are. You know, we're not, um, <coughs> we're not doing big groups. So the, we're, we're keeping it small. Yeah. I, you know, I don't celebrate. I, I haven't been home for Thanksgiving in years, years and years because I've been on the road. I've been in other countries that don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So, and that's been fine with me because really, um, uh, uh, I just, I found Thanksgiving giving to be a, a lot of work, very expensive to buy everything. And then everyone gobbles it up in 15 minutes. <laughs> it's like, and then they're in a stupor. It's like, what are we doing? <laughs> Why am I doing this? So we're, we are going to do Thanksgiving this year. It's just the four of us who live here and uh, we're going to have a small little Thanksgiving. Two of us are vegetarians. They won't even eat the turkey, but I like turkey and I make great soup. So we're doing the turkey. And we're doing vegetarian stuff, mostly. Hello, Holly Lane. <laughs> Hungry man, turkey dinner, David. That's the way to go about it. Super easy. Just throw it away. No dishes. Oh, there's a Night of the Living Dead board game, Paolo. I have not heard of that. Hi, Gordon in Scotland. I love that. Wow. Wow. Checking out from the surgeon. Okay, Val. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hi, Frankie. Uh, mm, oh, vegetarians are good. More turkey for the rest. Right? I kind of feel that way. Although we're going to have plenty of turkey. Because even a small turkey is going to be plenty. <laughs> for two people, it's nuts. Um, so there's a free thing to do on Sunday. Do you guys know about this? You can, uh, we're going to do a little uh, tour of Botswana because I, you know, I've been planning um, a couple of trips, but they're on hold because of COVID. So what uh, I thought I would do with my friend, Amy, who is my guide in Botswana, we're going to put a, just do a quick little um, video, you know, a Zoom um, here's the trip. Here's what it will look like. Here's what you, you can see and have fun with about going to Africa. So check it out because that is on Sunday and it's free. It's just for uh, all of our friends to kind of come and take a look at the trip. And then by signing up, you will get, uh, for the, for, so that I can send you the links and all of that. And then when we do get the trip up and ready to go, you'll be the first to know. Uh, and just, just posted that uh, on questretreats.com for more info and the sign up. So go to questretreats.com, questretreats.com, and then you'll sign up. And in a few days, I'll send you a link. So I, I just kind of wait until um, everybody has signed up and then I send the link close to the event so you don't lose it. You know, it's, I think it's easier that way. In my mind. <laughs> it's easier <that> way. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like it must be easier that way. So, um, yes, that's on Sunday. And then, you know, the Armin Shimmerman, um, event is on December 12th, December 12th. And that's Armin and that's b5events.com. So there's two websites, questretreats.com, b5events.com. And the great thing about what we're doing with Armin is that he's going to teach us about interpreting Shakespeare and how beautiful and fun it is. So we're going to first have our nerd out time. Well, actually, first we have the open house. So the first hour is just us all hanging out together. And then 
Armin will join us at 10 and we'll talk to Armin and we'll, we'll get all your questions answered. And then he's going to go into his spotlight. And that is, he's going to take some volunteers. We'll get volunteers ahead of time and um, read a couple of lines of Shakespeare. And he's going to coach everyone on, on Shakespeare. So if you're interested, get your ticket and then we will, um, ask for volunteers in an email and you can volunteer ahead of time and get a couple lines with Shakespeare. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be super cool. It's very different than anything else we've done on B5 events. I'm, I'm, I actually suggested it and he liked the idea <laughs> because Shakespeare is a real big, uh, really a big part of his life. He's a teacher. Uh, he's a stage actor. It's a huge part of his life. So he wanted to share that with us, which I love. And, um, yeah, so there, that's what we're doing. All right. Who's going to be on after Armin? You mean in January? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So there'll be one event a month that's a paid event. And I really need your support. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, okay, well, um, yeah, I can send replays. I'll be sending replays. Hi from Hungary. Love it. So awesome. Um, from Camden, Maine, Daniel. Hi, welcome. Stay warm. I know it, 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 Patrick Stewart did all the sonnets. I love this. I could listen to him read a phone book, but reading Shakespeare is amazing. So yeah, so we're going to talk about Shakespeare. We have some fun. Uh, we'll talk about acting, you know, and stay creative and stay in community together. That's the important part, isn't it? Being in community is so important and, and taking care of each other and just uh, finding ways to stay inspired. So let's do that. Find ways to stay inspired. That's good, Daniel. That's awesome. Old Town, Idaho. Oh, it sounds that sounds cool. Uh, so yeah, um, Armin, and those are the two things I wanted, right, Sarah? That was what I wanted to oh, Sarah. Um, Jess, that's what I wanted to say. The Africa thing, it's going to be our trip. The, the safari I am planning in Botswana, and we don't have any dates, and there won't be a price or anything like that. It's just simply to share with you my vision of this safari, and I think it'll be really fun. Amy Attenborough is my guide, and she's going to be talking to us about how she does this, and she's got pictures for us and stuff we can watch and look at. So let's do that. Let's just hang out and do that for a while. Um, good morning from Japan. Holy smokes. Wow. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, Tim. Yeah, he did. He did. And it was, in, they shot it in black and white, I think, even the uh, Joss Whedon's Shakespeare project. Uh, the, is it the writing or the acting? I don't, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's both, Daniel. I, you know, why, why, and why do we have to put a who's more important thing on there? I think it's all really important. The, the thing is, with the, when you put together a creative project, it's really hard to know with the chemistry and how it's all going to turn out. That's why there's so much bad stuff out there, <laughs> especially if you, you look at the, the money they spend on it and the great actors in it, and you've got all this head, this great talent, and then the project just doesn't come out. It's because you just, it's really, it's a lot harder than you think to, to make things work. So um, when you do see a show that you love, know that that is an anomaly. That's like winning the lottery. That Those are just the shows you see make it, the ones that you know end up on uh, where you can watch them because the other shows are so bad, you'll never see them. <laughs> and we don't even know why. It's like, why didn't that work? I don't know. I have all these pens that I love and they, um, some of them stopped working for no no apparent reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Much ado about nothing. That's it. And it was um, in black and white. It was really cool. It was very good. Mm -mm -mm. Hi from Muggy Houston. Oh, I'm sorry, Samantha. That sounds awful. Um, I know it's just weird how that happens. I know Liz Vassy for B five events. Who's Liz Vassy? I don't even know who that is. Sarah. Uh, I could look it up. 
So what I need for B5 events, I need people with with um, 100,000 followers on some social medias because otherwise it's so hard for me to, I, I don't break even on it. So that's, what, you know, oh, I love Amy Acker. She's very good. Uh, yeah, so it's this is hard. This stuff is so funny. That's why I keep saying, buy your ticket, buy your ticket, buy your ticket. <laughs> yeah, Jerry Ryan would be great. She's going to cost me too much money. You know, I could try. I can ask her. Hmm. Upcoming Ring World series. Uh, I have heard about it. Yes. And I love the books. I love the books. They were so good, weren't they? Mm. <laughs> okay, you guys. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Um, I'm sure you're busy this week getting ready for having a nice weekend. And um, oh, I also wanted to mention Be a Santa. Be a Santa. We are at uh, about 7,600 bucks going towards 10,000. The 10,000, we get a matching grant. So we're getting there. Folks like Elaine and have I, some people I see names go by. I know you've already donated. Thank you so much. Have donated. So um, if you could throw a couple of bucks, it's beasanta.org. And um, we've been doing this for like 28, 29 years now. I already had Claudia City, you missed her. <laughs> um, hi, Robert. Thanks, Paolo. You too. So beasanta.org, it's a really good weekend for that. Maybe I can post it in here. Beasanta.org. And you can read all about what we're doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, I want to go. Did it go? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Thank you. So B5 events and Magical Living, <laughs> we're all posting. That's, so, that's really funny. Um, yeah, I like Claudia Black. She's lovely. Yeah, so help me out there. Uh, it's a great weekend to... to um, donate a few bucks towards a good cause we 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 give holidays to kids here in california um we get kids from all over they're in foster care and they're in a, they're in a special place because um they've been so abused they can't be in regular foster homes so they're in group homes and i just they're all teenagers and i get to um like i get to hang out with them and give it well I won't be hanging out with them this year because of lockdown but we're going to do a zoom thing and I put together a gift bag for them I'll take pictures of it and post it um I put together gift bags for them and they they get to you know go shopping I give them a big gift card with as much money on it as I can get like a hundred bucks if I can get it yeah then it's all because of you guys we've been crowdsourcing this since before crowdsourcing was even a word you guys have been helping me do this for all that time since before Babylon 5. I started it before Babylon 5. Thank you, Darg, you too. Uh, oh, thanks, you guys, you're so sweet. All right, well, have a, have a beautiful rest of your week. I'll probably pop in and say hi at some point. Um, and, um, you know, take care of yourself, take care of each other, be safe, be safe. It's really important, yeah. You know, if you've got anyone who hasn't, who's been sick, you know, it's a terrible thing. So um, stay safe. It's, it's not worth it. We'll be back to normal next year. It'll be all good. We just have to hang in there for a little while longer. Thanks, Claire, you too, sweetheart. Okay, thank you. I will probably take you up on something. All right. Love you guys. Be well, be safe, and talk to you soon. <laughs>